You know what? It is Saturday. We should be out doing something. I'm about to go find Ricky. Uh, he's at work, but I'm gonna go find him. We're, he's gonna have to get off of work or something. We gotta go. We gotta go do some fishing and and get out there and do something. Come on now. It's Saturday. You ain't supposed to be working on a Saturday. That's it. I'm in my truck. I'm fixing to go find him. Where is this dude at? I know he's got to be around town somewhere. Oh, well, I was about to pull, turn around and pull out, and I see him. I see him. I see that joker. Look at it. Ricky! What are you doing working, man? Uh exactly that working it's saturday <laughs> i know i know i wish i could go fishing <laughs> well uh let's go you better hurry up man we got I don't know. we catch got stuff them, to do catch criminals catch fish fish see you later much better <laughs> let's go let's go Ganungs, Ganungs, Ganungs fish, fish camp, <laughs> and we're gonna get a fishing pole and some bait, and we're fixing to head to the beach. What, what are we gonna do at the beach? Pompano fishing. I've been waiting for Pompano so long. They're finally here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Pronounce the name of this back. It's Janungs. 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 Okay, we, we totally it messed it up in the beginning. <laughs> so we're out here for Pompano. What, what are some good rigs for it? So some good rigs. Uh, you want me to show them or just explain them? Show them and explain. Them. All right. So uh, these are hand tied here locally in St. Augustine by a guy who's been doing it 30 something years. Can you uh, show us what one looked like? Yeah. So let's take one of these out. And I'll buy that. Hold on to that. So the Pompano rigs are usually going to be, uh, some people also call them double drop rigs because they've got the two two hooks. So this is a typical Pompano oh, rig. You hook your weight on that? You're right? going to hook your weight okay. on there. Uh, usually a Sputnik sinker, like the sinker yeah. guy uh, makes some great Sputniks. Uh, that's the popular one here locally. And then you tie your main line here. The floats are going to keep your bait up a little bit off. So what happens is you've got it anchored and then because of the angle of the rod and the line going out, this is all gonna stay a little bit up off of the bottom and just kind of float there all ghostly over the surface of the, the sandbar. And that's what the pompano are gonna be looking for. Pompano are very visual. So they're going to see these colors and that looks like the egg sac of a sand flea or something. and. Awesome. Eat it up. Sounds uh, good. Yeah. All right, so that brings another thing to my attention. He was mentioning how the rod is up higher so it gets over to surf. I don't have a surf rod, so I'm going to have to buy one. So I'm going to have to check out some prices, see what we got in here, and uh, pick out a decent surf rod. I don't need a reel. Now, as you're picking out the rods, one of the things the shop owner was telling us that is we wanted a light pole because as we're swinging this, we don't want no real big, heavy, cumbersome pole. We want to be able to swing and swing all day if we have to and get over the surf. And that's the reason for that length right there, to get us way past the, the waves and right behind the brakes. I'm probably in those pockets where the, all the pompano is going to be hiding today. So. Um, he's picking out a pretty awesome um, rod. What, what is the brand on that? This is an Akuma Rockaway. Huh? Akuma Rockaway. That's the purchase. All right, so we got all our stuff. We ready to head to the water? Yes. We got everything we need. We got our bait, we got our hooks, and our what? Fishing poles. Big old rods, big, big rods. Big old rods, let's go. There goes Ricky, always forgetting one thing. Always forgetting something. Can't be forgetting my wife's pole. Right. Yeah, we need that. She's the one that's out gonna fit gonna outfish us anyway. That's anyways. right. <laughs> he knows it. That always happens that way yeah, for you us. Know it. Let's go. Here we 
are on the beach. Yes! I've been waiting for this video. Time to get our rig set up for our pompanos, get hooked on the hook, get the lines on the line. He's talking too much. Let's go. Get the let's weights, go. Get the, get, the, get the poles on the rods and the reels on the rods. He's still and talking. Let's go. He's yeah, still so talking. Let's go. <laughs> I saw in a movie or like a video where a guy he did some super awesome thing like this and he went oh! and then when he did it the wind blew in his back and his jacket was coming. Woo! I think I got this. What we have here boys and girls is a clam and we're going to take this clam and we're going to try to get it opened today and we're going to use this clam for bait and we're, we're still we're gonna get it opened here here in a moment any moment any moment i'm just scared of my knife because my knife is like really sharp this is like not at all anything like opening muscles for going catfishing these things i can show you how to super open it, strong so i'm gonna cut this bad boy in half they're not quite as big as i thought they'd be one piece is going on one hook one piece is going on the other hook and i'm gonna toss this sucker out there in the water now we got some live sand fleas see that right there all we're gonna do is just hook them right there on the side toss them out so they can stay alive and swim around and hopefully we could get something to bite specifically a pompano for me they're my absolute favorite but right now we're aiming for any kind of fish but mainly pompano no destination this whole world us for the taking brand new life out there just waiting oh let's go got him oh he got off he got off he got off oh come on no! Yes, 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 let's go! Man! <laughs> oh, this is exciting! Here it is, here it is, here it is! Here it is! <laughs> Not an empty day! The whiting is biting! <laughs> <laughs> look it, look it, let's go! Let's go! Hey! That's better than nothing. Can, kingfish. Can we keep it, these? Is it called a northern or the southern kingfish? Something like that. Yeah. Can, can we keep these? Yeah. At yeah. this size? Yes. Okay. Well, these, hey, we got food. We got food. You got yeah. food. What are you doing, Ricky? I'm trying out the fish bites along with the sample. So now we got three different baits, three different distances, one in a trench. One super far past the, the sandbar that's out there, and I'm gonna do one just past the sandbar. So, see if we can catch more fish, man. That big one, man, broke my line clean. I have no idea what that was, but broke it clean. Took everything, my whole rig, gone. Man, I'm sad. So right now, basically what we're dealing with is a trench through here and a sandbar right out there where you see the waves at, where the, where that, where the ripples are. On the other side of that is really where we want to be fishing at. But it's so deep through here that we can't walk out there to the sandbar in order to cast from that side now. So we kind of got to wait on the tide to get up just a little bit higher. Ganesh. Ganesh? Fish camp? <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're up 
your rod's working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so far this year with the big fish, I can't land one. First one today broke off. Clean. Second one yanks my pole into the water. I go to reel it in because I got the circle hook, right? No, done. All year it's been like this. I had a tarpon. I lost a tarpon. No, I'm not talking about it. Is it funny? Is it just this year or is it like all the time? Son. You know what? You know, for watching them, for watching them, they say that to me, y'all suck. Thumbs it down. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like it button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us on all the social media that's out there. And never forget to challenge the outdoors.